I remember playing the first How to Survive game from 505 Games in Echo Software or EKO Software and I saw some things I really liked about it. I have this weird soft spot or enjoyment for B tier games, games that aren't incredible but they're fun and it's, I don't know, just to know that like it's heart is in it more than any, rather than the money it kind of goes a long way for me um, and I kind of felt that with the Force how to, the survive, how to Survive game even though I wasn't a big fan of the whole structure of the game some of the humour wasn't excellent and the controls were just not a lot of fun on console but here we are with How to Survive 2 and in a lot of ways it is a much much improved game it's still to me though got control issues but for the most part that sort of can be overlooked to enjoy the overall structure of the game so once again again if you've played the first game Kovac is back it's got the weird humor the weird sort of videos and if you like that it's still it's still there and it's pretty cool and I wasn't the biggest fan of it in the first place so I was uh, it's not thrown down your throat too much and um, you're able to get into the game level up and just sort of improve and go through the, the loop that you want maybe expect from this game you go and you collect resources you complete missions and you get XP and you can level up and it's all there and um, in quite a decent regard in all honesty it's not um, it's not sort of open-ish like it was where you move from island to island like the first game this is much got much more structure it's got quests with levels on it and um, your XP is used to level up yourself it's used to level up your camp it's used to un like um, improve your skills um, and on top of that you're not kind of funneled down mission to mission to mission there's sort of this hubbish area that's open that you can go around and kill zombies and gain XP uh, you can go around gathering resources which you can then bring it back to your trunk or upgrade things or craft new equipment and then you go off and do the missions and the missions bring you to different areas with different uh, things to do it could be collecting certain resources it could be meeting characters and talking to them and help them out it can be just killing dozens of zombies and it sort of mixes things up enough that makes it a lot of fun you get to choose between two different weapons and um, at any one point uh, the, the UI here's the thing the UI is I played on Xbox one the UI you know that this game was built on PC for which it was it was in early access for a fair while and it's made its way over to console they have not made the UI incredibly console friendly in the sense that you have a pretty much a mouse course and you move it around with the analog stick for certain things and it's just quite slow and it slows everything down it's kind of frustrating i know pc gamers like which is i am like i don't know why i said pc gamers but pc games especially when they've made for console fall under that that it's not intuitive for a mouse and keyboard this isn't incredibly intuitive for a controller it's serviceable though it just isn't perfect but either way, the, the loop of the game is pretty fun. It's got a good amount of content there. and um, You can play it online with others. I played this solo, just for just to let you know, I didn't play any online um, or co-op aspect. But it, to me, it's definitely a much more improved game over the first one. It's still got its little quirks, good and bad. Um, the control scheme still isn't great. Feedback is much better though. Um, feels like you're actually hitting things now and you, you feel it feels more responsive it's still a little bit janky i guess um but other than that i actually thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game it's not it's not very expensive it doesn't take up all your time and if you're in the mood for a resource gathering simple enough zombie survivalish game how to survive 2 is actually a pretty pretty cool time to have with a game um it's it's it can technical is the last the technical side of things is the last thing I'll touch on. It isn't perfect uh, on Xbox. It's it can be slow. There's some frame rate dips. There are times, especially when you're progressing the main story and handing in main quests, the game will actually freeze for a few seconds. And it's yeah, it's not perfect, but it's still an enjoyable zombie game. 